Kingdom Hearts is really well known as an RPG in which you travel to many worlds. 36 worlds to be exact, including the Realm of Darkness. But what if I told you these worlds are not worlds at all, and all of this is taking place on one planet, and all of these worlds are actually land masses? Hey guys, Jay here, and today I have a Kingdom Hearts theory that is, well, unlike any I've ever seen before. What if the worlds in Kingdom Hearts are actually land masses on one large planet, and not separated by outer space like the planets in our solar system, but by a body of water? I've got some pretty good evidence to back up this theory, but remember that this is my opinion and my own theory, so if you don't agree, that's fine. So at first, this theory seems to fall right apart from the start because the world map is literally a galaxy with small planets that you fly to. But what if that's just what Sora and the others are feeling? Like they're in outer space because they're flying and they haven't done that before. And it's not actually that way. What if that galaxy used in Kingdom Hearts 2's world map is actually a large body of water and the gummy ship is a lot more like an airplane rather than a spaceship. There's one main thing that'll throw everybody off here. The gummy ship battles take place in what is very clearly outer space in a somewhat bullet hell slash Star Fox 64 looking type of gameplay. But the one thing that everyone I talk to seems to forget is what happens before the battles. It's a lot more clearly explained in Kingdom Hearts 2 because it was thought about more, so they made it easier to understand with more information. Before the outer space gummy ship battles, you have to go through a locked door along the path, or else you can't get to the world. This door is literally another dimension completely. These space battles take place in a dimension inside the door, and then when you're done uh, with the battle and you win, you leave and you're on the other side of the door without ever seeing that space on the map. So this means that the outer space battles aren't even happening in the same dimension as the worlds that we're visiting, which completely throws out the idea of the worlds being separated by space out the window. Another big piece of evidence is the names of the world. Not the names given by Square Enix, but the actual names. When you beat the Mulan world, Land of Dragons, the Emperor specifically says you saved China. And in Pride Lands, the Lion King world, Nala specifically says that you're in Africa. And we can all agree that Atlantica is a real named place too. It's the lost underwater city in our real world that everyone's been looking for for some reason. Uh, I'm not saying all these take place on Earth though, uh, but it certainly helps this theory that they're all Earth named places and they're real. I don't have the video proof, but um, anybody that's played Kingdom Hearts 2 will know that these things were said. Um, because it's very prominent that that's where you are anyway, so it's obvious you're in China and it's obvious you're in Africa because that's where the movie side takes place. The movies take place in those real world places, so it's not unlikely that they would just use the same names because it's canon. So I just thought I'd bring that up. Now this one I also don't have video proof of, but if someone can help me, that would be great. If someone um, like knows exactly the points where these take place, because I don't know the exact points, and I don't want to play the games all over again to get um, all of the points, because there aren't very many of them, and those games are kind of long. So this is what originally started this theory in my head, um, so I know that this is in the games. Um, if it wasn't, I wouldn't have started this theory anyway. So um, in the games, there are mentions of Earth, our world earth things like what on earth or how on earth like like how on earth are you doing that or what on earth are you doing um, things like that uh, that originally led me to believe it took place on earth but I thought just a general single planet was a better theory as there are there are a lot of non earth named areas like Daybreak Town Twilight Town and other places that would disprove the earth theory so a general planet would be better than saying earth um, but the fact that they say earth makes me believe that it's more of a general statement as in what on earth are you doing which sounds a lot less stupid than what on the planet are you doing 
And the thing is, they could have just as easily said what in the world, which would have been literally for any world, making it regardless of where they are, that would work. But they don't. And Tetsuya Nomura specifically said this every smallest detail is extremely important in the series. Then there's the biggest piece of evidence. This one was the piece of evidence that made me think further on it after all the mentions of Earth. So Sora, Riku, and Kairi were very much wanting to see other worlds, right? Well, how did they plan to get to those worlds? A spaceship? No, a raft. A raft floating on water to get to the other worlds. Um, as much as I don't like using this reference, what was it that Christopher Columbus was doing that was the exact same thing as what they're doing, and what did he call the place that he was going to? The, what did he call those other countries? Where was he trying to go? He was trying to go to the New World, or a New World, which was his word for another country. And that's pretty much him saying that this is a country that, or a place that they haven't been before, they haven't visited there. So it's a new world to them. Does that sound familiar? That sounds to me 100% like what's going on in Kingdom Hearts. You're going to new places that you haven't been, so it's like a whole new world? Eh? No? Okay. Also, how in the hell would Kyrie know to send a message in a bottle in the ocean to reach someone in another world if they weren't connected by the same body of water? Anyway, that's my theory. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys later.